Thank you, send it. What fell? Damn it, there's way too much stuff on this table. Oh, it has the Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. There's way too much stuff on this table and that's exactly how I've been feeling over the last two to three weeks. I am not complaining at all and this video, it's a little bit of a different video. Basically, what you see on this table and you can't really see the whole thing, but I'll try to show you a bit of what I got here. A lot of companies have been, have been sending me stuff to use on this channel and to review and all that. And I really want to make reviews of all these products and I want to show a lot of these products. Some of them I bought, which is perfectly normal. Others I work with the companies and others just sent me because the channel has been doing quite good. So I really appreciate that for me. It's amazing if, if about two and a half years ago when I started this channel, if someone would tell me that I would get here, I would never... I don't know, I would just say that you're crazy, but the truth is maybe I'm the crazy one that this is happening. So let me just show you some of the stuff that was sent to me and what are my plans to do with all this stuff. I'm gonna start with these things on my side that they're just think taking too much space of this table. So basically, this brand is huge. Nutcase, Nutcase makes helmets for everyone. And they didn't send me one helmet, check this out. They sent me one, two, Three. <laughs> and why did they send me three helmets? Well, they sent me three helmets because they sent helmets for the whole family. They make helmets for kids from like, maybe from like two years old, at least my daughter is two. And this helmet was sent to Jalen. So Jalen has a helmet. And now check this one. This helmet is made for babies. It's called the uh, Pink Lemonade. I think that's the name of it. It is pink with some lemons. They sent a matching helmet for mom. This is the exact same helmet for Janice. This is really, really cool. Then, don't get me wrong, but I wouldn't see myself using the pink lemon. So, they also sent me a helmet which is called the Kaleidoscope. And this is this really colorful helmet. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. We opened these helmets like two weeks ago and we've been riding around town with the bicycles on this. This is the type of helmet. Yes, I see myself skating with this. I've been skating a lot with the Protec one, the one it's called the full cut helmet, the one that protects the ears. But I also like this helmet a lot, mainly because of the system. But I will make something with these helmets in the future. So thank you so much Nutcase for this. Now we keep going. What else did I got? Okay, so remember when I visited the Razors or the Sunshine Warehouse in Germany? Well, they gave me this. These are the ground control anti-rockers and they are, they are 45 millimeters, 52 Ds. They are super, super hard. And the reason why I have these, it's because I'm supposed to make a video of me skating flat with this. I'm not gonna lie, I think it's a lot inspired on what I see Kazoo doing with those small wheels and just doing that stuff. And I wanted to do something like that, but with anti-rockers. It's not about coping anyone, I just I would just like to try skating flat anti-rockers. It wouldn't be something that I would want to do on a daily basis, but I would like to do a video on the channel with that. So thank you so much, Ground Control. Thank you, Sunshine, for this. I will do that hopefully soon too. Now, I'm gonna keep talking about wheels because I actually got a few wheels. And then I got these ones. Do you remember this brand? This is Senate. Well, these wheels, they're still being made, I think. At least the company that is selling them also gave me this. I got a few of these. I'm gonna be able to skate these ones flat. They first gave me these wheels to be able to skate flat with the Kaiser Elements 2 frame, but I had to give the frame back to Parslide so I don't have the frame anymore. And I got these, but I got more than one pack. So I should actually try to skate flat with 54s. These are 54s. I think these wheels, they are really, really good for skating anti-rocker. I don't think they're like super strong, but as a flat wheel, they might, and they might hold really well. So 
that might be another thing for me to try too. So thank you, send it. Now I'm gonna keep going. What else? Iper. These are the Iper's Performance G Grip. These are 90 millimeter wheels and these are the wheels that I plan on using for downhill. The the profile of the wheel is it's a speed, it's a speed profile, more like a more like a pointy profile which is going to be really cool for downhill because I should use five wheels on each skate. They gave me two sets, so basically I got 16 wheels. Now the thing is, my Kanemoto's frame didn't came with me. My, 90, my five times 90 millimeter frame, I gave it to Mo. So I need to find a new frame. I've been trying to contact some people that I know. I've been trying to contact some people at Seba that didn't got back to me. I really want to get some some frames, I'm willing to buy some five wheel frames. So once I get my five wheel frames, then I'll put these ones in use. What else? Adapt. Back at the Winter Clash, the guys from Adapt gave me these ones. I wanted to buy some hardware that they have that I'm gonna speak in a minute. And when I bought that hardware, I also asked if they had any sole plates that I could use on this channel for something so they gave me these ones these are obviously not a color that would sell that much but i don't really care i want to try them and i want to give you the opinion about these so i still need to find out what skate i can use these ones it might be perfect to use with the Seba cjs the Seba cjs that i'm actually using just with a wizard this could be a really cool soul, soul plate for the Seba cjs but something to come soon so it is quite interesting that they have these holes here for the adapt system but we'll talk about it in another video I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna keep going with this okay so few weeks ago maybe like two months ago probably power slide sent me some skates they sent me some USD skates they sent me the Aeons and they also sent me the Sway. When they sent me the Sways, they sent me these things, which are some adapters for Trinity. So the idea is to turn those Sways into some zooms. So the power slide zoom usually comes with 80 millimeter frames. So they also sent me a Trinity 80 millimeters frame to go along with that. Trinity adapter and make my sway some 80 millimeters zooms. That should also come soon. <laughs> I'm gonna keep talking about Power Slide, and if you don't know, Power Slide also have a roller skating brand called Kaya. I used to work with Power Slide, and one of the main reasons I used to work at Power Slide was because of Kaya. And Kaya just released these things. I have these things for quite a while, I was actually testing them way before they were on the market. And these are basically some, some trucks that have a different way. <laughs> See this? It's like a female thread. And then this is a male thread. And what happens here is just like, this is based on a, on a BMX hub. And then you basically have some extenders. And these extenders will make your trucks be wider, which will make you be able to grind even with thin trucks. So this is a new system, I would say new invention from Kaya. And I'm really, really excited about these hitting the market right now. I haven't been roller skating that much, but a lot of my stuff from South Africa just arrived, including my skates, the Kaya Karma, that was one of the projects that I work with Power Slides. So I'm excited to tell you a bit more about these also in the near future so if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure you do so so we can talk about this together what else well about two weeks ago i posted a video about some micro skates if you don't know micro is the company that i've been working since january and in that video that i made i was free skating with some 80 millimeter skates and on that video the first shot was of me taking the skates out of a backpack backpack is this one 
and a lot of people keep on asking about this backpack. This is the new micro skate backpack. I will be making a review about this, what can you do with this backpack and, all, and what you can't. But this is already on the market. And I'm gonna try to leave a link in the description for all these products, including the micro ones. What else? Okay, so this is, this is quite big. Let me show you something. This thing right here, which is not inside, <laughs> of course, this is a 360 camera. It's not my first 360 camera. In fact, it's my third 360 camera. About two years ago, I bought a really, really cheap one. Some LG one, I actually made some videos with it. I bought it for around 50 euros. Then last year, the guys from Orms in South Africa, they were really cool with me and they let me use their GoPro Fusion, which is the, the 360 camera from GoPro. I'm, I used it and then they made me a really, really good deal in case I wanted to get one and I bought one. I was actually using it very rarely, even if I got it for a really good price. They also get me, got me a really cool deal with the GoPro Euro 7 Black, which I use a lot. And yes, I had to pay for them. I paid really cheap for those cameras. Now the thing is, the GoPro Fusion, it's actually really, really hard to work with. Not because it's hard to film, but when you edit the videos, they're so, like you need two cards and it's a, it's a real hustle because it, just to, to stitch the clip, because when you film it with two different cameras in the same camera, there's like two different modules, and then it needs to stitch everything so that you have a working file. And sometimes if I would go out and film for an hour, I would need to have a computer just doing that stitching for about three days for me to be able to do that video. And that's like almost impossible in what I do. So that's the reason why I wasn't using that camera that much. Now, Insta360 released this camera, it's the 1X, and this camera is completely different. I will make a full video about this camera because they just sent me all this. I didn't pay for this camera and they sent me this camera they sent me like a, a water case which i already used they sent me extra batteries like the charger like a little lens cap extra battery there's this little thing called the, the bullet time bundle i can tell you that all this stuff would cost around 700 euros and these guys from insta360 they've been investing a lot in inline skating lately they they've been sending cameras to some other content producers or to other content makers or to other skaters or whatever it's cool to see such a big company because they're actually quite big investing in skating so thank you so much there will also be a link in the description for that and I will be making a video specifically just with these, but I will also be using these in a lot of my videos. In case you didn't saw the skate talk with Tom Alquist, there was a little skate session that I filmed with this. So I still get, need to get used and I still need to learn how to use it better. But there's a link in the description for that too. Now, the reason why I see this skate here, no, it's not the first time that I'm going to be skating them, but my original plan was to skate these Rosies, the new M12 team with my solo frames but as you know i got robbed and i don't have the solo frames anymore i'm in process of getting some but i don't have them yet but i do have this symmetrix frame if you don't know symmetrix is by the guys from adapt and they gave me this frame about almost one year ago so i didn't skate it that much because at first i wanted to skate them with bigger wheels i was skating with with hyper 63 millimeters but somehow for me I thought 63 was a bit too big for this frame. Now, the guys from Heaven Skate gave me these wheels. They sent me these wheels, and if you don't know, I've been usually working a lot with Heaven Skate. I even have a code, code Lino, and if you use that code, you'll get some discounts, but you need to go on the website, Heaven Skate, and also in bladeville.com, and try the code. You'll see if you get any discount or not, because the discounts are not the same for everything. But they did send me these wheels, and there's something special about these wheels. To start off, yes, they are 58 millimeters, which is quite common, but these wheels are super, super hard. Usually, most of the inline skating wheels for aggressive skating, they are in between, I would say now with 50-50, 50-50 even makes 85A wheels, which is also not common. They are super soft, but they're usually in between 88 and 90. Some wheels are also 92, but the most common are between 88 
and 90 of durometer. You should know that the scale goes up to 100, the A scale. Being 100 super, super hard, and some companies even make 101 or 103, but it's, it's hard to explain, but let's see the scale if, as if the scale goes only to 100. So these ones are 95, which means that they are a lot harder. And a lot of people skate these only in the middle, but I do want to skate them all flat. I want to see the differences in speed. I want to see the differences for set slides. I want to see the differences in durability. And that's the skate that I'm going to be skating on the next few sessions and probably even skating them for a lot longer. I'm actually super, super interested in trying them. I know that a lot of people skate them just in the middle, just for sliding, not to get wheel bites, and then they skate softer wheels, but I want to skate them all flat. I will tell you more about these wheels also soon, but there's also a link for Bladeville and Eden Skate in the description of this video. And also obviously for Symmetrics for the frame and Roses for the skate, Intuition for the liner, there will be a different video about this skate. Now, this is really curious. Have you seen this? I paid for this. I haven't opened this. This arrived today and this is the main reason why I'm doing this video. I wasn't even supposed to make a video. But I got this and I wanted to do something with that. Now, what is interesting, it's Muzzle. Muzzle, it's a company from the UK and it's owned by the guys, by the guy that used to own Dirtbox. Funny enough, Dirtbox was the first company at least in the today's era, in the 2000s era, to make really, really hard wheels. Why do I say that? Well, in the 90s, there was a company called FR from New York that made really hard wheels. I remember the Aiton Kramer wheel was a 65 millimeters and it was a 95A. It was a really, really hard wheel. Then, about three years ago, Dirtbox made some 96, I think it was a 96A wheel, which is a really, really hard wheel. And now that came with that 95 wheel. Now, the guys from Dirtbox, they ended up finishing the Dirtbox project because according to the owners, they weren't really managing it that well. So instead of just trying to bring the company up, they decided to just shut down that project and start something new. And that new thing, it's called Muzzle. And the reason why I'm really excited about Muzzle is because there is not a lot of companies on the market doing this. First, the branding is amazing. It's like they use this tape the whole time. You can even buy the Muzzle tape. They sent me some stickers, but these, This is really simple, right? This is just some pants. But I don't know of any other brand in the market making pants at the moment. I do know that Viberlux original plan was to mainly make pants, skate pants, but you couldn't find them. And the thing is, it's really hard for a company such as Muzzle to make something like this. And then most of the skaters, including myself, most of the times we go to like, uh, a shop like H&M or any other shop and you can buy them for a lot cheaper. The truth is they're not specifically made for skating. When, when you buy something like this, these were actually specifically made for skating. You can see the elastic on top. I don't really know a lot more about the pants. Basically, once I saw them online, I quickly ordered them because I wanted to support one of the only, if not the only, brands on the market to skate pan to make pants for skating so that's the main reason why i bought that and because i bought that i also wanted to buy this and this is a water bottle i, I haven't been drinking anything else other than water for more than one year so it just makes sense let me see what else i know that they put something else inside and that's really cool i know what it is okay there's a little postcard just saying thanks ricardo Thank you, Muzzle. And now this is cool. Okay, so inside this little thing, there's no wheels. Even if Muzzle also makes wheels, they don't make the 96A, I know, I think. But they do make this tool. And this is like a Swiss knife. It's like a Swiss knife, 
but it's a skate tool. Super basic, it's not the only company on the market doing it, but it's a company investing in cool stuff, so this was an offer. The bottle and the pants, I paid for it. Thank you so much, Muzzle. Please keep doing what you guys are doing, I love it. Now, I still have two more things here. Well, this thing, I usually never wash bearings, but it's stupid because I've been using better and better bearings, especially over the last two, three years with this YouTube thing and whatever. I've been having the opportunity to skate much better bearings and some of the good bearings are actually really, really expensive. So Bones make this thing that it just open, you put your bearings inside with a little washer on the middle and then it just wash. I'll be using this soon. This was given to me by Skate Pro and I will have something soon with Skate Pro, but I can't talk a lot about it yet. What I can tell is that this was given to me by Skate Pro, so thank you so much, Skate Pro. There will also be a link in the description for these and for Skate Pro, so thanks, Bones. If you don't know, Bones also make an inline skating wheel company called Elegy. I used to skate for Elegy. And now to finish, and this is not a review, there is these two boxes from the company that I work with. On top they say can't be ignored and this -da -da -da. this is the fire frame and it's the the tri skate option the three wheel skate option from micro I was very involved in the development I was one of the persons testing this frame and I'm really excited to see the final product coming out with such a good presentation in only a few months. I'm going to remind you that I only started working with Micro in the beginning of the year. So to see the product being out with such, with such a good presentation, I'm actually really, really proud of that. And that's why I left it for last. And there will be a review of these being made in the channel soon. Now, of course, one of the reasons why I don't do that many reviews for the micro product is because I work with a company. I'm scared that people think that I'm not going to be that honest because I work with a company, but that's not what I do in this channel. And if there's something that I don't like or that I think it should be different, I don't have any problems to tell you. So that's it. This is it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's not really a skate video. I'm about to go out and skate with this, that's for sure. So, those bearings need to be cleaned. I need to use it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you're also clicking on that bell so you get notifications whenever I upload one of these videos. And also make sure to like this video. If you do like this video, or even if you don't like it, just give it a thumbs down. If when you when you give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, what's going to happen is that YouTube is going to suggest this video to more people. So it actually helps the channel to grow and in general also helps skating to grow. And I guess that's it. What I need to tell you, it's what I tell you every single video, which is just a reminder to not forget why we all started skating. And that is because it's fun. Cheers and thank you for watching the whole thing. You know the jungle has its rules And I just gotta keep it cool And I'll be treated like a tool